We're going to look now at a few examples involving inverse trig functions. Um, later on, we're going, to get to, uh, we're going to get to a section on what's called trigonometric substitution, which is sort of a continuation of, of, of these methods, sort of a more advanced inverse trig approach, if you like. Um, but before you can understand trig substitution, you have to be able to kind of spot the basics, right? Um, and for this one here, what we're relying on is we're relying on the following observation, right? Let me put it in red. Um, so we remind ourselves that the derivative with respect to u of arc tan u is 1 over u squared plus 1. Okay? Now, we have something similar here, except we don't have x squared plus 1, right? If we had x squared plus 1, we'd jump right to the answer. We'd say the answer is arctan x. But we have x squared plus 25, so we have to think about how to adjust that. Well, there's a simple trick that we can do. We can say that this is the same as 1 over, so let's factor out a 25. We want a 1, right? We want to isolate a 1. So we have x squared over 25 plus 1, okay? And the reason that we're doing this is we can say that x squared over 25, right? Well, that's x over 5 all squared. And that suggests that we should let u equal to x over 5. And then du is 1 over 5 dx. So that means that dx will be 5 times du. Okay? So let's make those changes. Now, 1 over 25, that's a constant. We can, we can put it up front. 1 over 25 integral 1 over. Okay, so x squared over 25, x over 5. Right? So the point is that this is going to be q squared once we make our substitution. So we have u squared plus 1, right? And dx becomes 5 times du. Okay. So again, this 5, we can bring that out front as well. 5 over 25, we can simplify that to 1 over 5. And 1 over u squared plus 1, well, we know that gives us arc tan u. Okay. So all this left to do is put back in that u is x over 5, and we have it. 